All right, so this is a quick tip uh, for my students. Uh, you want to go ahead and just start doing something in your spare time. A lot of people like using Zillow. I don't really like using Zillow for particular reasons, but it's a it's a resource. Um, so this is something that I, I've learned to do in Zillow uh, to get sellers to actually you want your phone to ring, right? So you don't have any money to buy a list or you haven't put any signs out or you don't have any money for marketing uh, this is just a, a a tiny way of getting your phone to ring or your email to pop in with a seller all right so let's choose a city I don't know uh, we'll say Orlando Florida All right, so we got Orlando, Florida. And what we want to do is, uh, when it populates, let's see, uh, should populate listing type up here, right? You see all these little dots. But what you want is for sale by owners. So you'll click on that tab and you'll put it on for sale by owners. Take the agents off new construction off, foreclosures off, and the coming soons off, and any other thing that's checked, if you don't want any potential listings, all you want is just for sale by owners. In this particular city, there are 124. So I like to do virtual wholesaling, uh, so this is good for someone who does virtual wholesaling as well. So you got for sale by owners, right? It gives you a list of um, I don't know if you, if you know the zip codes and areas of a certain city you can look uh, so let's just click on one uh, normal house well this is a condo looks like a one one right here uh, we'll click on the normal house right here for sale by owner 215,000 but what, what you want to look at is the days on market look at the days on market so we're gonna scroll down because that was just one day, three days, five days, seven days. You want something that's been on the market for a while, right? So let's scroll down, see if hopefully we can find one in this city. It's been on market for a while. I'll jump to another page, let me see. Um, looks like the days are going, down, going up as I get further. So let's try I want something that's like between 90, been on the market for 90 days or more. At least over two months, you know, two to three months. Something that's been on the market for a while. Here we go. All right, here's a for sale by owner right here. Four bed, two bath, 1,600 square feet. For sale by owner, $249,000, all right? Um, so I click on this. Zillow is going to populate everything about the house and there should be a a listing to contact let me see, let's see, let's see. right right here where it says contact where it says get more information right so you can type anything in here I'm interested in your property but underneath that there are four people these first three are realtors so these aren't actually the listing agent I, I doubt if they show the listing agent usually they just pick some realtors on the for some reason but the property owner is right here so you would click the property owner it actually has his phone number so I will write this phone number down and I will call the property owner and ask him if he's interested in selling his property for cash since it's been for so long and is he willing to negotiate price with me simple as that you, you now have someone that you contacted about a property if you don't you feel like you can't talk on the phone simply fill this out at the top where it, your name email address and your phone number and say i'm interested in your property or would you would you accept cash 
and are you willing to negotiate on the price you can fill that out right here click contact make sure you click the, the button that said owner instead of any of the realtors and voila that property owner either contacts you back and say yes or no that's all you want you know not every deal is a deal and that's something that I, I will teach as well not every deal is a deal not all money is good money but if you keep pushing you can do a hundred of these and only get one deal out of it but that one deal may pay you five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars or seven thousand dollars or whatever the, whatever the assignment fee is on that property so you just spend a little time like maybe a day or two doing a hundred of these and you come out with five to ten thousand dollars you can't beat that anyway that's a quick tip for those who uh, want to get started and don't know what to do um, whatever city you're in or if you're trying to do it virtual you can do it in other cities as well um, you can use Zillow to find sellers of property